everyone this is Ravi Singh from Tech Post Guides and today in this video I'll be showing you why your Android gets slower with the time and how you can make it faster again. So let's quickly get started with this video. I use Samsung Galaxy S8, a flagship device from Samsung with octa-core processor and all high-end specs. But guess what? this phone also stutters and lags at times. Now quite recently I experienced slowdown and lags while switching between the apps. Even after closing all the apps, when I open Chrome or WhatsApp, the keyboard used to take a while to load and keystrokes were entered after a while which was quite frustrating. Especially when you have spent several hundred dollars on your device and I have never experienced this before. I own this device from last 11 months. Now for the budget Android, this situation is even worse. But then I figured out the reason for the slowdown. This is something that most blog posts and YouTube videos don't mention about and in fact there is only a few that I've found. It's related to the cache partition of your Android device. Now here's what happens inside your Android that slowdowns your phone which was once snappier. You might have noticed that Android phone slowdowns after installing the updates, whether it's a security patch or any major Android OS upgrade. I'm not entirely saying updates slow down your device, in fact, updates are important and you should always keep your device updated. However, after the update, the most crucial part that most of us don't even think about is wiping cache partition. Now this is a very important step as the name says the cache partition stores temporary system data. Now this cache partition allows Android phones to access apps more quickly and efficiently. But then when you update your Android, the files stored in the cache partition becomes outdated and over a period of time gets cluttered. That's the reason why you need to wipe your cache partition and a periodic cleanup of wiping cache partition makes your Android phone run smoothly with minimum or no lag. It's important to note that this cache wiping is completely different from what you do using apps like CCleaner or Clean Master Cleaner app. These apps only clear the individual app cache which is good for speeding up your Android device. Now if you have your Android phone in your hand. Turn it off and follow the instructions as I perform. And trust me, it's completely safe if you follow as I mentioned. So after turning off your Android device, press volume down or volume up and while holding down the volume down or up, press and hold the power button. Now this variation can differ from device to device. So I've given a link where you can find the right key combination to boot into recovery. Another way to boot into recovery is using your PC where you need to install ADB drivers. The link again is given in the description on how to install ADB and fastboot drivers. Then you have to connect your Android, turn on the USB debugging and write a command ADB reboot recovery. Press enter and your device will instantly reboot to recovery. Now once you are into recovery, Use volume keys to toggle between the options. Move the selection to wipe cache partition. Now as I said, you don't need to worry about this. This doesn't harm your Android in any way. Just make sure you have the selection on wipe cache partition, not the factory reset. Now once you are on wipe cache partition, press the power button to select it and then using volume, go yes and press the power key to confirm. Now, it just takes a second or two and your Android phone's cache partition is completely wiped. Now all you have to do is reboot your device using the volume and power key. Uh, you don't need to use volume key here, just press your power key and your Android device will reboot. Now since it's a reboot after wiping cache partition, it rebuilds the cache so it might take a while for your Android device to boot. And once it's booted completely, you will feel that your experience is much smoother and comparatively faster. 
Now I was amazed by this simple tip and it's also very easy and convenient. I highly recommend you to wipe cache periodically to experience lag free performance and it works for all Android devices no matter what operating system you're running on. Now as I said I'll be giving you 5 additional tips on speeding up your Android device. So first thing first uninstall or disable the apps that are rarely used. These apps eat up a lot of resources in your system and makes it slower. So just go ahead and uninstall or at least disable the apps, the bloatwares if you can. Second, use static wallpaper on your device and reduce animation speeds. Especially if you own a budget Android device, consider turning off animations under developer options. Trust me, you will see a huge improvement, but you need to sacrifice on transition and animations. Now, if that all still doesn't work, go ahead and back up your device and perform a factory reset. That's something you won't have to do if you use the tip I mentioned earlier, the wiping cache partition tip. So the number four tip is use apps like Clean Master or CCleaner to wipe your application cache. So when cache gets older, it becomes cluttered and your device may feel slower. So just clean your system and application cache frequently to enjoy smoother performance. Now finally, try rebooting your Android once or twice a week for a consistent Android performance. It helps your device when things are buggy and your device tend to go slow. It also frees up more RAM. So with that said, good luck and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also like this video and do share your thoughts in the comments down below if this tip really worked for you or not it worked for me so i'm sure this is going to work for you also so go ahead and wipe your cache partition and good luck thanks for watching have a wonderful day